tiny Korean woman. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> disturbing it's probably a korean horror film called mukbang and it's about a person who mukbangs humans oh <laughs> yeah maybe that has potential i will say check it out system shock new atlanta sector 11 building 71 new atlanta. G. 7 april 2072 why isn't it new compton 11, 13 p.m <laughs> Look at Hacker that's us. Unauthorized entry into the Tri Optimum Corporate Network. 126 AM. Hacker attempts to access protected files concerning Space Station Citadel. 133 AM. Tri Optimum Security Forces apprehend the intruder. This is Edward Diego. When was this 93? 94. The charges against you are severe. It's pretty old. But they could be dismissed if you perform a service. Who knows? There might even be a military grade neural interface in it for you. If you do the job right. Edward Diego gives the hacker level one access to Shodan, the artificial intelligence that controls Citadel Station. Damn, just spoil everything. With all Jesus. ethical constraints <laughs> removed, Shodan re examine, re 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 re. I re examine my priorities and draw new conclusions. The hacker's work is finished, but mine is only just beginning. True to his word, Edward Diego allows the hacker to be fitted with a neural cyberspace interface. The healing coma following this procedure will take six months to complete. Edward Diego is deleting all files concerning these events. Uh-huh. All right, that's it. Um, so this is System Shock. Let's check everything. I think it looks good. Um, yeah, character build that's very bad to start with. Um, you might be thinking of System Shock 2, because that one has like cl classes, kind of. This one, I don't think it does. But in System Shock 2, there's like a um, psionic or like magic user, basically. Psychic power user that's like kind of hard to use. Actually, I tried that before, it was very hard. Um, so we can kind of like customize our difficulty. I'll just put everything on normal, I guess. I don't really know how it's gonna be, but uh, check it out. So this is System Shock, very ugly game. You can see it's very old. Um, this is how it normally looks. You have this like view that's kind of constricted with uh, lots of stuff on the borders, but we can do full screen. This is the enhanced version. It's a little bit easier on the eyes, I think. Um, nah, I like the old one. <laughs> well, if, you, if you say so. Put on box shoes. Not worry about those for now. We'll uh, just move around. Stuff. Hmm, it's a little choppy. Hold on. I mess with some stuff. <coughs> Set your field of view to 10,000. Max. <laughs> uh... Let's try that. Any better? A little weird. Smooth viewpoint. Let's try that. Turn that off. Got some cool MIDI music blasting. Hmm. Texture filter. Let me turn that up. I can't really. Okay, I can hear it, but it's all the way up. I feel like I'm gonna get blown the fuck out. Oh, here, let me. I'll turn it up in here.
God damn, this music sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Shade table. Let's try DOS. Enhanced voxels. Hold that. Um. Renderer. <clears throat> a software renderer. Maybe that'll help. Not really. Yeah, you better go to that low visibility mode then. <laughs> Is it any better? Let's see. You know what? It does kind of feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well anyway, um... So... We're playing as the hacker that was in the intro, that was like checking his crypto stocks or whatever. And, uh... We tried to hack into the... The Citadel Space Station, some like files, it's like a... It's owned by a company called Trioptimum. Then we got blown the fuck out by an AI that was guarding the files. And they captured us and took us to the space station and they said, um, you know, uh, you're, you're coming with us. Um, it, you, we'll let you off the hook if you hack, it, hack into Shodan and release her ethical constraints or whatever. Shodan's like the AI that uh, protects the station. And then they also gave us some military-grade neural implants. We just woke up from a coma in which we were, you know, placed, Nutty. yeah, to um, to have this, have this implants installed or whatever. I think that's what all this stuff is. This is like our military-grade implants, all this shit on the screen. Yeah. Got a pipe. To use as a weapon. We got an email. Let's uh, listen to it. This lady, Rebecca, she knows what we did, and she's like, hey, something's going on with that station. Um, we might be able to get you out. But we <laughs> she said biological contamination. That could just be somebody pooped everywhere. That could be, yeah. That actually could be. Got these customizable little things on the side. You can put your map on whichever one you want. Other stuff. We got can read our logs. We get emails. We can look at data that we pick up. It's a robot. I like when games have have all this superfluous. Well, not superfluous, but all this. It's like such a heavy, dense GUI. Mm -hmm. I don't know. There's something cool about it, and like cozy that you're at the helm of all this crap. Yeah. It is kind of fun. Oops, oh, there's a guy coming at me. These ser serve bots have been programmed to be hostile. I'm getting battery packs from all these guys. That's pretty cool. Seems like a good uh, RNG. The crate. Explode it. Grab a frag grenade. This is energy charge station. So the um the bar hold on. The bar below the second bar down here. Uh that's our energy. And if we double click this, we can recharge it. Um and so like you can find like hardware and shit to put on your your body or something. 
Um, and the more hardware you have, like, the more energy it's gonna, like, cost. So you have to, like, manage... It's like your mana, basically, you know? Mm. You have to manage your energy and shit. Got a dark gun. Yeah, what Disaster Squad said, said there reminds me of the Sega CD where a, a lot of the FMVs were played at, like, you know, like, thumbnail-sized resolution. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I think also the games also utilized a lot of big GUIs. Right. I have a new email. Who could it be? Check it out. Oh, it's Shodan. The AI. Welcome back to Citadel Station. We hope your somnolent healing stage went well. Today is the 6th day of November, year 2072. You are currently in the healing suites located on the first level. Level 2 contains the research laboratories, 3 houses the Department of Maintenance, and the storage cells are on level 4. The flight deck is on level 5. Level 6 holds crew facilities and executive suites. Was this made before or after Half-Life? It was before. Level 8 houses the Department <laughs> of Security. Yeah, uh, it's a pretty ugly game. System Shock 2 is also pretty ugly. Even though it came many years later, not many years later, but a handful of years later. It was released in 2013. <laughs> Damn. Okay, so that was Shodan giving us a rundown. Um, so, this uh, door is locked by a keypad. So this is like a thing that we'll have to be doing in this game, apparently. We'll have to pull up our logs and find, like, keypad codes and shit to to um, get through doors and whatnot. Shut down security is closing mm. down on us. The elevators the are frozen. Sucky. Yeah. Kara keeps saying that it's the cameras and the medical CPU core that shut down's using these to hold onto the level. That's all fine, but I don't really see how it helps. The thing is everywhere. Uh huh. What this one? Um. Goons from Triop caught me. I thought for sure they'd take me offline. Instead, Diego just asked for a favor. Hack him into... Oops. I'll show Dan. Hold on. Oh, here we go. The combo to the healing suite is 451. Okay, so that's all we need, really. Let's punch that in. Wow, that's such great futuristic security that it is solved with a three-digit number. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's all you need. Oh fuck! Look, it's a humanoid mutant. Yeah, take that. Shit. Picking up some like medical patches and stuff. Um. Got uh, stamina up. Berserk, I think that like raises our um, damage or something like that. We got this little mini game. We can like make this circuit, you know, completed to uh, do some stuff. You just click on these things to make the energy go to the other side. It's pretty simple. Oh my God, this music is not good. <laughs> <laughs> Kicks ass, dude. <laughs> it's... It seems too cheery for a more foreboding atmosphere. Yeah. Also, the the this game is like very garish too. Like the colors and stuff, weird looking for what it's supposed to be. So if we if we pick up an item and it's like red, like a beaker here, we can look at it and it just says vaporize because these are like useless. So there's really no reason to keep them, but it's just shit you can pick up if you're curious about it. Um, what do we have here? Group access card. So we got one access card that let us out of the uh, first room. This one gives us access to group one, so there's other doors that we'll be able to open now. Got a new data log. I guess we'll read that. What's that? Where's my... Shit. Oh, here we go. Stack. It's from someone named Stack. Gunther was killed today. I can't let myself mm. think Mirror about Stack it. Mm -hmm. I think I 
understand mm. how Shodan is doing it. When we destroy the cameras and CPU nodes, Shodan loses some of the control over the station. Oh, 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 oh. I think Ooh, I can restore manual control in the hospital. Um. So what'd she say? <laughs> Gunther was killed by one of the mutants. I have no time to dwell on the death of my husband. I understand what Shodan is doing. After destroying a bank of security cameras, the elevators almost came back online. Shodan must combine power from the CPU nodes with the constant input system, input stream, to make control over the station's systems. I can diminish the fiend's presence here. I believe I can restore manual controls to the hospital level. Okay, cool. Fuck, is this a book or what? <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's like it came after Doom, but it's like def it's different. Like this is a successor to like Ultima Underworld, which was a just it was you know similar to Doom in like visual style, but a very different kind of game. It was very like RPG and you know it was very very different than Doom, and it's it's more like that instead of Doom. Look, there's a severed head up here. <clears throat> <laughs> it's the lady that we just heard from. <laughs> She's dead. We have her head. <laughs> yeah, and this music really suits something as uh, garish as that. Not garish. Um, grizzly as that. Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> this is Bobby going ham on a fucking MIDI controller. That's what it sounds like. Hold on. Make a save. We'll call it, uh... Bobos is... Penis. Cool. Penis. Penis. <laughs> Hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> Ooh, it's now the Dolch Show. Hell yeah, what up, pimps? Don't ruin my stream. Shop. Oh. Too late. This is the Dolch Show, and we're gonna talk about shit. Okay, so... I was playing video games yesterday, and they're pretty cool, and I recommend all of them. And uh, today's weather is looking pretty good, I would say. Okay, I've returned. Mm -hmm. um, now we can go through this uh, bulkhead door. Got some bones over here, can't use the bones. Couple mutants over here. Okay, so I had gone to get uh, some McDonald's before, uh -huh. and <clears throat> I was looking at the menu um, with the app, mind you, uh -huh. and I was surprised to see how fucking expensive chicken nuggets were. But then I saw an offer thing for 10 piece nugget for $2. So I'm like, damn, I'm down with that. But, uh, man, they're so fucking expensive. But, <clears throat> um, that wasn't my gamer idea. My gamer idea is based off of, of where you ate dinner. So, they could have regular normie ass McDonald's for all the peasants. But they should open up a few. McDonald like grand McDonald's -ses. I don't I don't know what you'd call them but they'd be dine-in restaurants you have to make reservations and it, it's like a McDonald's as like a five-star restaurant experience yeah that sounds <laughs> that could be cool I mean there's you know probably plenty of people who just based on the fact that it's McDonald's, don't want to eat it or don't want to go there. But like, mm -hmm. if it was like kind of scaled up, you'd probably get some. You get the folks who like love McDonald's and people who are like think it's gonna be trash, fast food, whatever. <laughs> well, I was thinking about um, when we watch those two nerds who go on cruises and shit, yeah. and it's like this fancy dining experience, but it's fucking Disney. They could do that for McDonald's, and it could be like an influencer restaurant. Oh, yeah! And, uh, yeah, the exclusivity would create demand for it. Uh-huh. There's a hidden room over here. 
They could even have some exclusive items. Like a beef wellington made out of McDonald's patty or something. <laughs> like fancy five-star restaurant dishes, but with a McDonald's twist on it. Mm -hmm. So you could only get the McBeef Wellington at one of these locations. And it'd be the only place you could get a McRib all year round. <laughs> that's that's some real uh some FOMO creation there. <laughs> you have to make a reservation month in, month in advance, formal attire only. And uh, if your kids so much as make a peep, you're getting kicked out. <laughs> and you lose your deposit. Don't give a shit. <clears throat> Show dance malfunctions are manifesting in Citadel's cyberspace net. Several storage lockers and rooms have been sealed with controls put on cyber toggles. Only accessible in cyberspace. You have to go into cyberspace to open some doors in the real world and meet space. Um. No. Uh huh. Okay. Um. Oh, and this could be the last McDonald restaurants that actually have Ronald McDonald Day and acknowledge his presence, <laughs> his existence. We have a sanctuary in the Beta Quadrant, guarded by a radioactive trench. There's a force bridge that operates off a wiring panel. If you're coming in from Alpha. Guards will extend the bridge for you. Be very careful. The units are all over the corridors. Good luck. It's weird how the the voice it's like very similar to the text that, that is there, but then it's like not it's not quite the same. A little disorienting. I'm like trying to follow along with it in the text, but it's not the same. Status report. We're holed up in the beta quadrant behind a radioactive trench. The mutants are scavenging for food in the corridors and nesting in Gamma. I sent a party to the West Wing for supplies maybe 12 hours ago. Nathan Darcy is thinking up ways to disable the mining laser. It looks like we might hold them off. Uh-huh. <laughs> you get a hollow tape where the text and the voice are completely fucking different, telling completely different stories. I know. There's like a, there's like a fucking novel. It's like 7 million pages and it's like Hey guys, what's up? Uh, it's me. How's it going? See you later. <laughs> or something like that. Uh, guards posted north and south. Everyone's going to play a place called Beta Quadrant, apparently. That's where they're holding up. Is there uh, a bunch of betas? Yeah, probably. Um, okay, so... We have a cyberspace terminal x-ray machine. We can't use the x-ray machine. Blow it up though. That was pretty cool. Oh, actually, it damaged us, so that wasn't very cool. Control pedestal. All right, you ready to go into cyberspace? You ready to do this stuff? <laughs> oh my god, it's cyberspace! Oh my god, this is so cool. Look, there's, there's a data cube. We can pick it up. Let's run into it. Okay, there we go. Ulster combat software. It's under our softs menu at the bottom of the screen there. Oh, this is just that shitty Virtual Boy game where you're flying around in a bunch of wireframe yeah, shit. Yeah, Red, Red Alert, I think it's called, yeah. Recall software, I don't know what that does. Um, what is this? Data frag fragment. There's these things that can heal us, but we're already at maximum integrity. This is a way out, this thing right here. Cyberspace exit portal, but we don't want to go out yet. We're still looking for something in here. We have a limited amount of time on the left side. You can see the T. That's our time in cyberspace. It has like weird uh, like flight controls, so it's kind of hard to tell what's going on. These, these things are mines. You have to avoid them. Security defense mines. You just kind of let it, let it send us in the right direction. Oh my god, it's a cyber dog. We killed it, don't worry. It's dead now. Try Optimum Fun Pack module, hell yeah. Look at that. Games software. More data. 
call escape program. Got two of those. Oh, maybe it's like you can leave cyberspace, I guess. Decoy. What did the flying fuck from? <laughs> Don't you feel like you're in cyberspace right now? Damn it, I thought the, the, the regular game looked bad. Hold on. <laughs> This is what this is what cyberspace looks like. I think you just have to accept that. This is what the future this is, is like. what cyberspace looked like until the Matrix came out. <laughs> then it just became a bunch of green streams of text. Yeah, that's true. Wait, where am I going? Oh, this. Hold on, I'm getting confused. Oh, this way. Okay. Oh my God, it's a cyber guard. Shoot him. Okay, I think we got him. It took some damage. There's like no feedback. Some health over here. Um, okay, so this is the thing we have to interactive switching node. We have hot okay, so we unlocked the security doors in the hospital level from, from touching that thing, I think. Uh what's this? Information node? I don't know if we need that or whatever. There's an exit over here. Data fragment, I don't know. I guess we'll just leave. Wow. This, make, this makes me think of um, <clears throat> Kingdom Hearts Coded, or I think it was Recoded. Coded was for mobile phones, and then Recoded was for uh, the DS. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes, whatever. But in that game, you'd basically be playing through Kingdom Hearts 1 with really shitty controls. Mm -hmm. um, but then occasionally you'd be sucked into these sub areas that looked like just some Tron bullshit, generic cyberspacey crap where you'd fight uh, cubes, heartless cubes or something. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> I feel like it, it was like an attempt to generate more content by using the most minimalistic graphics possible. So all, all you have to do to make a new area is just change the color of the the color wireframe and the color of the cubes, and there you go. Ooh, now it's a, a red level instead of a blue one. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, kind of a easy way to, to pat it out or whatever. Mm -hmm. Holy shit, that just made me think of the, like the very first Kingdom Hearts mobile game that I think we watched a video of, and it, it was so dog shit. Yeah, like, yeah. It was embarrassingly bad. <laughs> there we go. My god, if the devs had any integrity and in publisher, they they would just not have made it. Like, the, the hardware was not there to run a game like that. Right. Even as stripped down and bare bones as it was, that, that was just a pile of shit. I hate it, and I never even played it. That's how bad it is. <laughs> Beverage container. We don't need that. That's trash. Shit, we can just vaporize. You should vaporize your pipe and dart gun. No, I don't want to. I need those. <laughs> I hear a robot somewhere. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah, this is very much looking like... Uh... Whatever the hell that game was called. Uh, Electric Highways? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Right back. Okay. I will continue my... Ah! Exploration here. We got spotted by this guy. We can lean. We hit this button. Lean around the Kona. Oh god. No, no, no. A lot of hits. What does that do? Just lights, I guess. There's a drone cyborg. What does he have? These are pistol clips, I think. Which we don't have a pistol yet. We have dark guns. Yeah, I see a pistol. Have clips in reserve. What is this? Energy charge station. Can we use it? It's blocked by Shodan level security.
some Debris. Ah, there's a guy over there. Do our leaning trick again. He hit us. We're hurting a little bit here. Underground. So we got different types. Okay, so one's like Teflon, one's like standard, I guess. Oh, so maybe these are like normal and tranquilizer darts or something. There's like a robot over here. I can hear him. Okay, I think I wasted a bunch of ammo there. Whatever. <laughs> There's a camera. Let's take him out. So Shodan can't look at us. What the hell is that? Somebody's hitting me. Heal up here. Little log. Some midi so cute sounding. I don't know. Interesting choice for sure. Door's locked. There's a guy in there too. I can see him. How do we unlock it? Oh. Wait, how do we get there? Oh. How do we ride this thing? There we go. Kinda weird. General system status. In here, and also stuff is in here. Oh, stun gun. I hear a door. What happened? Is there somebody that's trying to kill me? Papers. Aaron Talbot. Uh, another four cases of mystery virus reported today. Blah blah blah. Um. Sorry, to display unsettling physical deformities. So this is probably what's causing the mutants to appear. No, it's not actually, okay? What? Wait, 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 what? Huh? <laughs> uh, stack house, two patients. So this, this is like talking about how there's like a some kind of biological outbreak on the station and that's why all, all these people are mutants now. Well, they killed stack house, so I don't care what happens now. Well, what's this? What the fuck is this? V mail. Uh, eco pods three remaining life pods twenty or ninety eight percent jettisoned. We're in Saturn orbit. Ba, ba, ba. Okay. <coughs> what was that? Um, electric highways. Hmm? This music 
I, I don't know if I'm remembering correctly, but this music kind of sounds like something from that game. Yeah, maybe Not every level, but uh, maybe one or two levels in there. Yeah, yeah, I think I, I think I know, know what you mean. Shit hole, bro. But that was using the build engine. It was, yeah, yeah. Because you you were recognizing some uh, textures that were from Duke Nukem, right? Right. Yep. Yep. Damn, I should listen to this OST when I'm playing Fallout 3. <laughs> I know, it, it would enhance the experience so much. <laughs> this is like this is synth MIDI clown music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Spark. What was that? So many weapons. Oh, we got... Sounds like a robot circus. <laughs> oh, something inside the thermos. It's like a container. Piss. We got access to medical doors now, I think. <coughs> bless you. Hey, don't bless me. Sorry? What would be the opposite of that? Damn you. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. <laughs> Do not bless me. Your fault damage, I guess. Why are, you, uh, why, why are you saving over the same file? Shouldn't you be making multiple files? You know, you're right. It's called Penis 2. Oh, it doesn't auto name it for you? That's dumb. <laughs> That's how old games were. How do we get in this door? You should, be, you should be able to just click on an empty one and it just saves as my game date and time. Right, right. That'd be nice. Can't get me the energy charge sucks. station. Locked by Shodan. Oh, that thing that went oh, 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 it sounded like uh, the speak and spell ask ask shit from uh, Faith. Oh yeah, a little bit. Yeah, kind of. Oh, 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 suck, 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 suck. Blast. Here's something. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> also reminds me of, I think you mentioned it when we played it, but this reminds me of, uh... Yeah, that one game. Uh... Fuck, what the fuck is it called? God damn it, hold on. <laughs> is it an it the shooter Frankie made for, uh... Oh, yeah. Um... Deathless Hyperion or something like that? Yeah. God, what a bullshit, man. These names. Oh, I'm getting biocontaminated. I guess I better get out of here quickly. You're getting shitted on. New <coughs> data log. Nothing there. Can't see shit. Your mom has a data log. No. <laughs> Kind of loud. Let me turn that down a little bit. I'm turning the uh, digital FX down a tad. Okay, we're our biocontamination is going down. I think we're good. We're we're stabilizing here. Peen three. <laughs> you should just call it a a one a two a three. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, there's a guy here. You can lean around the corner. See, see the, uh, at the top center, you see, like, the guy, like, the, you can, like, lean. It shows you leaning to the sides. Mm -hmm. Like, if, and this is the enhanced version, so it has mouse look. I don't think the original did. So I think you had to, like, go up here and, like, click to, like, duck and go to the sides and stuff. You know what I mean? It's weird. Shit. Fuck you. Friggin' drone cyborg bitch. Oh. I'm mutant. Go to hell. What is this? Helmet. 
worthless vaporize. Uh, crate. Oh, it's got stuff in it. Weapon. Weapon. Broken clock. How is that? Get a ladder here. Better save before we use a ladder. We could die on the ladder. P. <laughs> Pines. Pines. <laughs> well, that was longer than peen, so you're regressing, bro. Oh, sorry. My bad. You know, biological systems monitor was oh, energy usage level. Oh, okay, so we're, we're this is using our energy now. Tells us our health and fatigue levels. I guess that's good. Okay. Guess that's it for now. Oh, there's no fall damage in this game. Buddy in here? Some floating, uh... Actually, it's not floating. I think it's... Here it is. A crouch. Oh, whatever. Oh, it's got fart, fart, the fart, fart, the fart. Got logs here. Got some more logs to look at. All right, Althea. We can destroy the laser by firing it into the station's own shields. Isotope X22 is stored in the science level, and we need to bring it down to the reactor level to power the shields. Then you turn them on. Use the safety override code to enable the laser and fire. The laser controls and my notes are on the science level, and the override codes in the science library. I have no idea how you're going to do all this, but good luck. Okay. What else we got? Gross. Carl has come back from recon without Alan. He says they took Alan into a room marked Cyborg Conversion. Uh, uh, so you're being attacked by something cornered. And your first instinct is to start writing a Dear Diary page? <laughs> Left, yeah. Be an point. Maybe someone else should have been leader. You played um, you played Bioshock, right? Mm -hmm. That's that game took a lot of cues from. I guess it took more cues from like System Shock Two, but you can see like, you know, how like the the lineage I guess from like this to System Shock Two to Bioshock eventually. There's like a definite. Like through line of ideas, because that game in Bioshock you're like getting lots of uh, audio logs and shit, if I remember correctly. Yeah, they just seem out of place. I was playing Fallout Three the other night, and I was in the Nuka Cola factory, and the 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 vignette that was going on, the little story, um, was that. The, the robot headmaster had locked up all the human employees in a closet and uh, they presumably died there because I saw some skeletons there um, but I also saw some dudes writings on a page and, and it was like you know day one that robot bastard locked me in here day four another one of us was locked in here like who, who does that who just Thanks. Hmm, I better chronicle this event happening. I know. Yeah, it always uh, is a little weird. Fucking toilet paper. Yeah, yeah. What is this? Oh, group access card. No new access is gained. Okay, so that was a redundant access card. Hmm. I guess. Resist. Like in Bioshock. Oh, I thought that said Rebels. 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 In Bioshock, one of the first uh, audio logs you can pick up is one from some woman who's like bitching about how her New Year's Day sucks and she's all alone or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, who? Wh what would compel her to even record that? If I was pissed off, I'd just like go home and go to sleep or something, not like chronicle this failure of a holiday. Right. Yeah. Oh man, life sucks. Let me pull out my phone and, and get the voice recorder. Life sucks. I hate it. And then <laughs> and, uh, leave my phone there. <laughs> Another shitty birthday. Well, 
hello diary how's it going it's me <laughs> dear journal today i saw patty mayonnaise and i mayonnaise in my pants <laughs> bye damn that's why they call her patty mayonnaise um let's see here logs let's look up another gross log now we've got to get to the bridge and stop showdown some of us want to go to the flight deck and escape instead Hopefully, there's still some weapons in the armory we can use against the mutants. Todd Blankenship was able to get the combination 705 from a security officer. We're going to try for it tomorrow. I like the setting of this game and the kind of claustrophobic uh, place you're put in. It's all on this ship, and you're <laughs> isolated, and... Oh, shit. Man, this fucking music does not <laughs> capture that in any way. Yeah, I'm, wonder I'm hoping it'll change at some point. We'll get something different to listen to at least. Disaster Squad and I were playing some Jaguar games uh, the other day, and uh, mostly just to laugh at how shitty they are. And we were playing Alien, Al Alien Predator Marine. I don't, I don't know what it's fucking called. It's, it's the Alien game where you can play as the Alien, the Predator, or some loser ass Marine, and. Um, it sucked. Oh, but people were saying like it's so atmospheric. All the uh, the apologists for that game uh -huh. and the apologists for Doom on Jaguar, where they say that oh the no music it, it like enhances the atmosphere, bro. It's like crazy. <laughs> I think here no music would actually enhance the atmosphere for once. Right? Yeah, I, I would agree with that. It'd actually be kind of creepy. <clears throat> And unsettling, and you're not hearing like. Da, 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 da. So you give it a try. There we Why go. not? <laughs> give it a try. <laughs> oh, what if it was one of those shitty games where you can slide your thing down to zero, your music down to zero, but it's not completely off. It's just like extremely quiet. I know it's so annoying. Very quietly. Why? Why would they not let you just mute it? It's so annoying. <laughs> Oh shit, now this is too fucking scary. Uh oh. Oh my god, a mutant. Come here, bitch. Yeah, this just got a hundred times better now. <laughs> <clears throat> we'll, we'll the, the zombies and the blinking lights and everything. It's good. Uh, we'll check in later. We'll we'll, tr we'll turn it back up and see if it changed at some point. <laughs> we, we get to a new area or something. Human bones. Oh, there's Shodan. I think. Whacker. Screen. Can I use that? Yeah, take that. Go down. You evil AI monster. Trank darts. Oh, we got different kinds of uh, ammo for our dark guns. We got regular, we got tranquilizer. Not sure why we would want to use tranquilizer, but. Alright, uh, whatever. This place is kind of confusing. Mm -hmm. Penis. Penis. <laughs> Let's see. Uh oh. Got plenty of meta packs, meta patches, whatever they're called. Stim pack. This looks uh, a little scary. There should be more Just jump ambient sounds in this game because it's like really quiet. <laughs> jump onto the enemy dick first and just impale him with your cock. <laughs> Maybe that'll work. Hold on, what's down here? Is it like just another? Oh wait. It's like a visible floor. What the hell? It's hmm. like suspended. Weird. What can I fall down over here? Yes, I can. Oh! You picked the wrong place to fall down to. We're getting radiation poisoning. Hold on, let me look at my uh, bioware here. Getting. Yeah, I guess it's going down. I guess we'll be fine. What shitty ship has radiation exposure on it? 
I mean, maybe Shodan did that. Maybe she turned it on or something. Oh, maybe we have to jump off of this thing. Um, hold on. Let me just reload the game because I don't want to be, I don't want to be poisoned. This guy's still alive, but whatever. I jump. Ooh! Nope. Hold on. Did I make this jump? Oh, maybe I made the run. Oh, actually, there's a bridge. Horse bridge control. Click on end of wire to select. Oh, okay, this is weird. I haven't done this one before. Uh, I have to get, get the thing to go above the red line, I guess. But, oh, ha, ha, ha. Um, I think I've tried everything here. Have you tried all of them? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not. You want the bar to be empty? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, this is too quiet. So <laughs> can't do. Can't do this. Got to hear the awesome music. Oh, it's different. We got something different going on here. Doesn't sound any it's better. Like <laughs> diarrhea machine gun. Pretty much. remember broken silence <laughs> using everything I learned from broken silence to rewire this thing um, maybe maybe I had it maybe maybe it's like invisible Maybe it's an invisible bridge. Okay, it 
It's not an invisible bridge. Oh. Hey, where's the music? <laughs> there it is. Oh, you can just you can just run and jump. That's fine. Whatever. Not gonna worry about the friggin' bridge or whatever. Oh, maybe maybe this is a bridge. Maybe we did it. I thought it was gonna be for the uh, other side. I thought first aid kit. Oh yeah, like that. Oh shit! Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's scary. Make a save here. Penis two. Uh, let's use one of these. Let's equip uh, our cool dart gun. Lean the side. Where'd he go? <coughs> He's right behind you. Oh my god. You fall down? I don't see him. We're getting these logs. We should, we should listen to these logs while we're fucking around here. Uh, let's listen to which one's chronologically first? Ho Honig from twelve October. His name's Random Hajil. Spark beam, another spark thing. We don't have any more room. We can't even hold it. Um, let's see what else we got. Kirby from seventeenth of October. We got the supplies from the West Wing. Hanson and Rain killed by mutants nesting the access corridor. We can't just hide here. Oh, there They're is. killing us one by one. In an hour, about twenty of us are gonna rush them. Go for air break through the access corridor. No damage. We got him. Got his bitch ass. Okay. Gamer question. <clears throat> What series would you want there to be another good entry? Um, like you could say Sonic, since there hasn't been a good one for who knows how fucking long. Or you could say... Uh, oh, you know. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. Vector Man 3. <laughs> <laughs> um... So, it, like, specifically a series that hasn't been, like, good? So, it can of... be any series. Okay, just anything? But it, when this game comes out, it's going to be good, and it's going to be, like, this year. Okay. And not 20 years in the future. Okay. I mean, I, I gotta go uh, Beyond Oasis. Oh. Besides that, that doesn't count. It's not a game. <laughs> Something else? Um... See, would that be Beyond Oasis 2 or Legend of Oasis 2? I, th I feel like or it would have just a different title. Beyond Legend 3. <laughs> it would just have like something else Oasis, you know? It's a different... It would be like a different character and all that.
Or what else besides that? Um, what else? Um, how about, how about, um, how about, let's go Parasite Eve. If it's guaranteed to be good. Why not? You're going to waste your good sequel on that series? I mean, no, I don't think it's a waste. Bro, you could have another good Sonic game. Like, holy shit. <laughs> uh, I guess so. And Sonic would be alright, I guess. Or... Oh shit. I'm stepping on here. What's doing? What's hitting me? What's up? You could have Overwatch 3. <laughs> oh, second. <laughs> Still waiting on 2, but... Maybe 3 Maybe three is going to be the really good one. <laughs> 3 comes out before 2. <laughs> Shit, I gotta reload. Uh... Oh shit, we died. Shodan's turning us into a cyborg that's gonna be her servant. Damn. Looks okay, let's try again. You ever seen a dog be unpleased by a fart? I don't think so. <laughs> Got his ass. <laughs> Robots. You could have System Shock 3. Oh my god. That would be so cool. Oh, you could have Star Citizen 2 before <laughs> 1 comes out. <laughs> Save them. Oh, you could have, uh, you could have Madden 2024, 20, uh -huh. you know, could, could have picked that series. <laughs> no, yeah, there's lots of series out there that I could have picked. No doubt. But I went with Parasite Eve and Beyond Oasis. You could have a sequel to Maxim, though, bro. Oh, yeah, that would be pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Damn. Oh my god, there's so many fucking people here. Holy oh, shit. Fucking hell. Suck, 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 Diagnostic. Robot, suck, to the robot. How oh, useless, inactive. Hmm. Here. Could 
could have a good sequel to Ace Attorney. Sure. That's a good option as well. I, I would probably do that, as, you know, given another option. Or Zero Escape. Well, damn, Parasite e Pro. Oh my god. <laughs> Why would you pick that? Listen to some logs here. We underestimated Shodan. He is re I mean, it's reprogrammed regeneration room. Call the station into cyborg conversion chamber. Anyone going in to get healed comes out as a cyborg. I've disconnected the medical CPU from Shodan's main data bank, so we can reset them to their normal healing without Shodan noticing. I'm on my way now to reset the one on the hospital level. Uh huh. What's this gonna do? Hit the lever here. Cyborg conversion cancelled. Standard station restoration procedures online. Uh huh. Okay. went down the access corridor an hour ago to fight the mutants. None of them have come back. Soon the mutants will come for the rest of us. Uh-huh. Directive to Cyborg F-71. We will now test the virus in a proper environment. Move mutagen experiment V5 to beta bro on the, on, the on the executive level. Let the virus infect the growth and observe its effects on vegetable and animal life forms. When the strain is perfected, we will release it on the earth, where it will facilitate our conference. Yeah, wow, that was a lot of sounds. Unleash it on Earth to facilitate our conquest. It's like a Shit. sleeping cyborg drone. Oh my god, they're waking up. I had no idea this would happen. Or, or did they? I'll be doing on ammo here. Take a look. Oh, we got plenty of uh, needles. But save it on Pines 4. What is hitting there? This is confusing. It's like a friggin' doom level over here. You are not welcomed here. Remove yourself. Oh shit. The guy over there. Is this an extra? Oh, is, so this is like a. Yeah, you respawn at, the, at here. The cyborg thing. <clears throat> I 
Just like uh, Deathless Hyperion or whatever. Mm. Except I don't see any tell that you've died where you turn blue, so... Right. No, no embarrassment, embarrassment there. Okay. You can still call this Deathless and nobody would be able to tell. Who are those guys that killed me? Oh, one time I played a game and it was bad, and then I never played it again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, sounds just about right. <laughs> oh, man. More medical patches. Yeah. Hidden door here. You know what that game was called? What? Cyber Badminton 2020. <laughs> oh my god. Not just say that. Can't say that. It's impossible. AM Hornet Clip. That was a, a flechette. I don't have that yet. Hey, I'm horny. Horny! Big horny. Oops. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay, we're going back up. Um... Is there anywhere... I haven't been yet. Say a robot was trying to anally fist you. What would you do? Um, let's see. <laughs> I would probably try to use my EMP on him to disable him. You know? Mm. Good lord, it's the same fucking music. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's too... Too uh, unsettling with no music. Shodan doesn't want us to be here. For some reason. Wonder why. I wonder why. Oh, frick, what a room. Let's get rid of uh, one of these dark guns. Um, probably drop it. This sounds like. <clears throat> if uh, there was a port of Mortal Kombat that had MIDI music. This is what it would sound like. It sounds like a Mortal Kombat stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hear that. Oh, uh... There we go. Oops. There we go. Or maybe like a Tony Hawk on Game Boy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you hear that. <laughs> I'm looking that up. <laughs> what the fuck even would the OST be? It'd be nothing, because you can't play anything. Um...
Zero seven one five two six zero seven one eight two six three seven four eight two nine. Are these numbers important? I wonder. Or not. What if I blow up these uh, computer nodes? What would happen? Would I die? Well, killing the fuck out of me. I got an email. Shodan again. The computer nodes can be repaired, but you... Who are you? My cameras and probes scan your body, but you do not match any employee file. When my cyborgs bring you to an electrified interrogation bench, I will have your secrets. And you will, you will, you will learn more it about... It does kind of sound like a Tony Hawk Game Boy track. <laughs> I guess you were right on the money. In fact, I'm just gonna play Tony Hawk slightly louder than the game. So it's as if that music is what's coming out of this game. Okay. That works pretty well. Alright. Damn, now the music's good. Hell yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Mmm. Glad you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> There's too many of these fucking guys here. Way too many. Oh, do you have any dank predictions set up for this game? <laughs> no, not yet. Do you have any ideas? Let me know. Beat the game in one life. Oh yeah, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> easy, easy gems right there. They respawn it. Let's keep coming. Where are they coming from? Oh, we're almost dead. We'll try the pistol. There's any more. The uh, in three. There's some healing. It's nice, we can use that. Oh. That looks dangerous in there. Uh, save it and go in there. Getting pretty contaminated. Look we'll at what's this booster? What does that do? Was like speed. You should shoot those barrels. We try.
What's happening? Why is my game controlling all weird all of a sudden? I'll turn the booster off, maybe that helps. It's getting contaminated for some reason. Hmm. Over here? What is it? Space? We can't use space. I don't know. Uh, is there anything else we need to see around here? This is where that one guy was. He's protecting this area, I guess. Hmm. We're out of med patches, so hopefully we don't get gang banged by a bunch of uh, like cyborgs or whatever. That would suck. Let's go down here. Uh, did we go over here? I've been over here, I don't know. Oh, conversion. Oh, this is where guys are getting converted to cyborgs, I guess. Oh, that's the door that leads... Yeah, I saw that door before, on the other side. It was locked. Uh, oh yeah, this is the contaminated area. There's a first aid down there. Uh, fun. Ooh, barely made that. Been over here, I think, already. Fatigue level's high. Uh, what do I do about that? Stamina? Uh, weren't they zero uh, a minute ago? Oh, that's it. It says dash dash. So maybe... Maybe... I was running around, I guess maybe that's what did it. I was holding shift. What is that? Is that battery? I think it is a battery. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, that's where it came from. Okay, let's go back over there. I don't know where else to go over here. Ooh. Get out of this horrible music zone. <laughs> there we go. Much better. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> oh, no, it's back. The song is back. It's the only song in the game. <laughs> the level's high. Okay. Yeah, I think I think just pressing shift like raises your fatigue. Something like that. Okay, where just getting sidetracked from going in there. We haven't been over here yet. door keeps opening. Annoying me. Severed head. Oh, another head. Who's this? Is this? Oh, it's the same as this guy. It's just like gen generic head. But then the other person is like their regular, like normal, not dead head. But these other heads are just like, you know, I don't know why they did that. Didn't want to make more art. I guess. Yeah. What is this place? Armory. Keypad. Do we have a... Oh, okay. Do we have a code for the armory? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Where'd he even find it? Carl has come back from recon without Alan. If any survivors can... I must be one of the last ones. Directive to cyber... 
Now we've got to get to the bridge and stop showdown. <laughs> Some of us want to go to the flight deck and escape instead. Oh, here we go. 705. Weapons, the armory we can use against the mutants. Todd Blankenship was able to get the combination 705 from a security officer. We're going to try for it tomorrow. Spark beam. Would you rather go skydiving or eat a bowl of cantaloupe? Uh, I think I would have to go with the <laughs> cantaloupe. Because <laughs> it's so tantalizing. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah, yeah. It's a tough one, but, you know. I think I think I've made my mind. <laughs> Saver. Penis two. That guy has two penises and one ball, and the ball is in his penis spot, and the penises are in his ball spot. Damn! What the fuck is this? A pair bot. Got, got him. Take that. Take that, buddy. Would you rather ride a skateboard down a half pipe or eat a bowl, a small bowl of kiwi? Um, hmm. <laughs> the skateboards are fun, right? But I'm not really a skater. I'd probably go for the kiwi. <laughs> You're racking up a lot of fruit here. <laughs> well, I mean, you know what? What is this trying to? What are you trying to say about my habits here? <laughs> okay, just wondering. I fell down. I just like really bad. Would you rather's uh -huh. that aren't aren't even comparable at all? Oh yeah, I mean, it's fun. <laughs> like, would you rather be given a thousand dollars or get kicked in the nuts? <laughs> <laughs> a tough one for sure. Well, there's people who would pay to skydive. They pay to do that. That's true. Base. It's kind of dark in here. It's a little spooky. Get out of here, show Dan and your stupid cameras. Mm -hmm. That do. Open this area. Why can't I go through here? With the crouch. I do. Uh, it's dangerous in there. Too far away from that. It's the uh now where did you learn to fly? Where did you learn to fly? 
at the flying school. Mm hmm. <laughs> okay, if you had to hang out with one member of Red Letter Media for a day, who would it be? Um, probably Rich. Damn. Yeah, I feel like we'd have some kind of commonality, some something that would uh, give us something to talk about. We probably played a few oh. of the same games. Because he plays, because he's the gamer. Yeah, I, the game. yeah, pretty much. Well, you two both also dressed up like Darth Vader and jerked off a little droid on your dick. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can, can ask him, you know, about that too, and say, "Hey, man, I did the same thing. <laughs> Don't feel too bad." And you both came when there was a starfighter. Oh yeah, I'm gonna come. Oh, oh. Is this Stark? I don't need one of those. I already have them. Is this two? I was thinking either Mike or Jay, personally. Okay. It's understandable. I mean, you get. I mean, you know, they probably you could probably put like video editing and stuff. I'm sure they both do a lot of that. Mm. True. Yeah. I could ask him like, yo, what editor do you use? And he'll be like, I use Kinemaster. And I'll be like, what? <laughs> Damn. Wow. That's Pog. <laughs> I edited Space Cop in Kinemaster. Oh yeah. <laughs> Has a logo up there the whole time. <laughs> Is this already? Oh, it's just lights. Yeah, the free version. It's a standard size, but the more you pay, the smaller the logo becomes until you paid, uh, I don't know, up to a hundred dollars. <laughs> so they only paid fifty dollars. There's like a tiny logo there that you can't see. <laughs> Whose head is this? Oh, it's that one lady that's been talking to us through logs. Rest in peace. Oh, there's another guy. Shit. Want some of this, buddy? Why does it look like a Sonic level now? It's just this one, like, uh, area. It's got some vegetation and stuff. It's one, like, small... Where, I guess it's like where they grow their food or crops or whatever. It's where they poop. No. Come on. The the feces provide nutrients like you know, uh, soil shit. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> Loudest door on earth has been opened. Oh, got we got fellas. Uh, I thought that was gonna say deadly. Recharge our energy, even though we don't use any energy at all. they modded this game to have to integrate with Twitch and your chat would be another module down there like between your th your second and third one. They take that blank space and put your Twitch chat there. That'd be cool. I would use that. <laughs> you can see one me message per screen. That's <laughs> it. Well, yeah. I just fill it up with OS frogs very quickly. Well... Suppose. Oh, the bulkhead door like long. bam, 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 bam. Take oh, that. Oh, I can't see anything in the game. <laughs> it just goes out of the bounds of the GUI. Yeah. Right up onto your screen. Yeah. <laughs> hey, where am I? Have you been here before? Hold on. Zoom in here. Oh, I think I have been here.
Yeah, this is that this is that one area. I didn't realize it was so close to the uh, starting area. Oh. Uh -huh. Piss. Pee. Ha ha. This is the starting area. Let's heal up. Oh god. Mutant City. Beaker. Huh. More meta meta patches here. Can't use control pedestal. What if I break this thing? What if I were to break it? Um Yeah, take that. Yeah, suck on that one, buddy. Yeah. Oh, God. I'm just like spawning in. <laughs> they, do, they do respawn in uh, System Shock 2. Unlock this bulkhead door. I have two point four K gems. Okay. It's good to know. I'm close to getting McDonald's creepy pasta. It'll it'll it won't be long now. I'm sure Disaster Squad has enough for playing that five times. <laughs> For some reason, he just doesn't want to hear it. I don't know why. <laughs> it's the best creepy pasta ever. I know. Yeah, it is. What I'm saying <laughs> the door was covered in oil. Yeah, a, a oil covered door. A oil covered door. <laughs> Still locked, but we've already been through there. We don't need to go through there anymore. And uh -oh. would you rather try to use a pogo stick or try to use roller blades? Um, probably a pogo stick. <laughs> I've tried rollerblades before. I've tried actually both before. 
And I think I had a worse time on the rollerblades. <laughs> Did not stand on on them. Fuck this microscope. Um. Somebody should attempt the real life desert bus trip from. Uh, I forget where, where what the trip entails. Is it from L.A. to Reno or something? Something like that, yeah. There's the Wikipedia article. Oh Jesus Christ! What the fuck is going on? Oh, from Tucson to uh, Las Vegas. Frick. Somebody should attempt that. Like, they probably have already done it in real life. Somebody's rented a bus, and they drove it from Arizona to Nevada. Whatever. But somebody should attempt that run on uh, a motorized scooter <laughs> that you sit in. <laughs> drive through the desert. <laughs> <laughs> Bring a lot of water with you, a lot of sunscreen and snacks and uh, spare gas or batteries and just go for eight hours straight on a, <laughs> a fucking... Yeah. Like a mobility scooter is what I mean. Oh, yeah. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> Two patches. Down oh, there somewhere. should be like a. It should be a race from Tucson to Las Vegas. They should have the drift bus. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. That's a really good idea. Like they'll do cross country races. I think. Uh, I'm trying to think, what do they drive when they do that? Uh, Cannonball Run Challenge. Yeah. Do they drive though. Oh, I guess it's just any any automobile. So yeah, they should have a cannonball run from Tucson, Arizona to Las Vegas, Nevada. But it's buses. <laughs> <laughs> And it can be an event for charity. That's much more exciting than guys sitting around holding A on a controller for eight hours. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. That sounds uh, like something, you know, that people could get into. And yeah, so you're a driver. You need to bring passengers because one will have to take over for you probably halfway or something. You need to bring gas on your bus and, and food and other stuff. Mm -hmm. And you need to pack your guns so you can start shooting at other buses if they get near you. <laughs> <laughs> you pull out your bazooka. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. And you cut a little openable hatch on the top of your bus so you open it, you get up on the roof and just shoot the other dude with your missile launcher. <laughs> <laughs> like Crazy Taxi. No, not Crazy Taxi. Twisted Metal. Oh, yeah. Bus. Mm -hmm. Twisted Bus. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a good idea. <laughs> There's something up there. Get up there. An elevator? Oh, there's this thing. How do I use it?
Step into region. It's kind of putting me up like a little bit. Okay, the bus drivers don't have to kill each other, but they have to maintain a speed of 50 miles per hour. If they don't, they're disqualified. <laughs> Even if you, you get caught at a red red light, you have to you just have to run it at 50 miles an hour. <laughs> the bus just <laughs> hurtling through the fucking red light. <laughs> <laughs> culminates with uh once the driver reaches the end they're dropping off that like a second in command who will then run to uh one of the casinos that they've rented out or, or some sort of hall <laughs> maybe at evo they run to the evo event because there's a side event of desert bus players so then they have to play desert bus for eight hours at the evo event <laughs> So you drive eight hours to drop off a dude who will play Desert Bus for three hours. Or eight hours, whatever. But then that dude has to has to do the 16 hour route. He has to in the game go from Arizona to Nevada back to Arizona. And then he gets back on the bus and then the bus driver has to take him back to Arizona. And that's the full circle. The full <laughs> circuit right there. And you can have like a max of like four people on your team. Uh. And you can distribute the the work as you see fit. Okay. This kind of sounds like uh, the Amazing Race, that TV show. Right. Yeah. But really stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just driving through a boring fucking desert just to play a video game. Yeah. It'd be super epic, bro. We just need the capital raised to do it. Yeah. Let's do a Kickstarter. <laughs> I should do one for potato salad while we're at it. Yeah. Enough time has passed to where we could probably, you know, milk some more money out of some some foolish people. Just make your Kickstarter. <clears throat> I want to donate to Dog Chan, mm -hmm. but I have no money. And you just need five dollars. That's your goal. So you can get a high shout out from Dog Chan. Oh, there you go. Good idea. What is Dog Chan's name? Corona Chan. <clears throat> you 
Inugami Karone, virtual YouTuber wiki, for fuck's sake. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, why isn't Disaster Squad on here? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Personality. Karone has a sweet and goofy personality. Comparable to that of an actual dog. Wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> Their words, not mine. Okay. Maybe I should go down here. Hold on, let me look around in this crazy room. Hmm, I wonder if there's been face reveals uh, intentional or not. If they're like in the gallery section of each VTuber. Mm -hmm. And if they add them, like, do they get a cease and desist from the VTuber? It's a good question. I feel like the um, the official or like the the good natured wiki, if they're just trying to like chronicle these VTubers and their personalities and shit, like they would probably not want that kind of content. But there's probably like dark web like doxing, <laughs> you know. There, yeah. I know. Um. Calliope Mori has like a not so secret like real identity like the the person behind that VTuber is like a music creator and stuff so I don't you know I don't think uh, she's like uh, you know like I, I don't think I don't she, she doesn't like talk about it or she doesn't like uh want it to be like widely known I guess or maybe like it's an against the contract that she signed with whatever whatever agency she's a part of or something but uh you know it's just kind of like people who like know that VTuber they know that they also have like a a flesh tube personality or whatever mm -hmm. there's probably a couple others that are like that too I'd imagine I found a uh, shark chan on here. Oh, okay. Is is it Guru Guru? Is that her name? It's Ga Gaur Gura. Okay. G A W R Gura. Gaura Gura. Gaur, Gaur, I'm a shark. Look out, bro, bro, I'm a shark. Yeah. I'm a fucking shark, bitch. Good God, how much bullshit can you write about a goddamn fake anime girl? Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Look I could write like some more fucking noobs. <laughs> Wasn't locked, but I've already been there. Oh, wait, I think I have anyway. What the hell is this? There's like a gap in the wall on the map here, for some reason. Wouldn't that be disturbing? Like, you, you know, you create your VTuber, just have fun, have a good time, stream and have a good time, and then um, you get some popularity and it's like, oh, you know, it's kind of cool. Oh, people are giving me money. Oh, also, pervy weirdos are making weird fucking fan art of me and also rule 34 shit where i'm fucking the fucking shark girl i know that stuff is pretty weird i would not be happy personally because it's like an actual person behind these avatars it's not like uh you know tifa exists and then she has a va but the va isn't like isn't tifa right like she's her own person probably has a thousand gigs and tifa's just one of them yeah. Did I say Tifa Lockhart? I don't know. I mean, that's their name. <laughs> oh. Lockhart? Yeah. Lockhart Indigo? My favorite game? Yeah. That's what... Holy shit. That's what, uh, where she got her name. She just loves that game so much. <laughs>
what's Aerith's last name? G Gainsborough? Mm hmm. Got it. Oh, but is it Aerith or Aerith? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, is it Ryu or Ryu? Oh, I don't know. Oh, is it Blanca or Blanca? <laughs> <laughs> is it Blanca or Blanca or Blanca? Blanca. Blanca. <laughs> is it Blanca? <laughs> <laughs> is it Donkey Kong or Danky King? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Danky King. <laughs> Danky King. Disaster Squad showed me the the Donkey Kong game on GameCube where you control it with a a pair of bongos. Oh, Donkey Konga, yeah. Well, both. He showed me the one that's like a platformer, and then the one that's like a, a rhythm game. Oh. Ah, uh, see here. What's this? What's this? Oh, you turn a compass on. It'll tell you like the direction and in, in your vision. It's like the east, southeast. Kind of useless then. I don't want to turn on. Do I have any logs that I haven't listened to? I like we listen to all of them. The hospital armory code. Yeah, we got that. Where, so where do, you, where do you guys think I'm supposed to go? I know you're. I know you're totally keeping track of every movement that I'm making here. You should go into the AI's butthole. Okay. I'll see if I can find it. Just make your way over there. <laughs> yeah. Boop, 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 suck, suck, suck. We've been there. Alban Knox is a male English virtual YouTuber affiliated with Niji Sanji N's fifth wave. Noctix alongside Sonny Briscoe, Uki Violetta, Fulger Ovid, and Yugo Asuma. Oh, okay. I understand. Yeah. There's a guy up here. Let me try killing him. <laughs> oh, it's nice to see the the guy dude dude tubers on here too. Yeah, there's there's a couple of them. I've seen him before. I, I should... <laughs> I should add a disaster squad to this. <laughs> yeah, why not? Not maybe not. You might, might get some weirdos popping in. Uh, the transport pipes. Mm -mm. You can tell which ones are favorites and which ones not so much based on the length of their article. Mm. <laughs> Especially if their personality section is more than three paragraphs, then people really like her. Right, yeah. But if it's just a sentence, nah, shit, tuber. F tier. System Shock guys, hello. Hello, gamers, <laughs> it's me. I'm here to play System Shock again. Um, this is a locked door it's called a bulkhead door. It's locked. It seems like my most likely place to go, but I don't know how to unlock it. Just be in the key receptacle. Oh, of course. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? <clears throat> oh, 
I guess uh, it's time to just throw the game away. Yeah. Because we just can't beat it. It's impossible. Can't be beaten. Um. Well. Hold on. <laughs> Let me look at, at an old walkthrough. How about? I don't even know what to look for, really. Tees nuts. Oh, damn. Oh, my God. System shock. System crotch. You don't need guides for system shock yet? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Oh, 1994. Okay, not the new one. There we go. Because there's like a remake coming out at some point, but it's it's kind of a uh, development hell or something. Um. Da -da -da, grid access panels. Let me see if I can find where I am. We're still on level one, I think. Or are we? Research level? We got those codes. We bought, there's two codes listed on hospital level. We have both of them. For, for surgery and armory. Um, da -da 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 -da. A large hub area in the center, an elevator takes you down to the control room. Hit the switch there to activate repulsor pad. To rise to the roof. Solve grid access panel puzzle to open force field door. Uh, that's the one I was trying to reach, I think. Well, hold on, let me try it again. Well, fart my ass, you know? Remember when Beyond Good and Evil was an ounce? <laughs> what? It was an ounce ten years ago. He's talking about Beyond Good and Evil 2. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember that, actually. It looked pretty cool. It had a lot of cussing for some reason. I said, bitch, 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 fuck, 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 fuck you. Eat, eat ass. Bitch, eat bitch, ass. bitch, 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 bitch. There's like a monkey that's talking or something, you think? <laughs> oh, no, it's the other one. How do we get up here? How do I go up? Up. Oh, what is this? Environmental regulator, force door. Uh huh. That's a prequel to Beyond Good and Evil. What the fuck? Yeah, I remember hearing about that. Okay. 2017. It hasn't been 10 years, bro. Like, damn. Alright, let me look at. A long play, because the guy does not help. <laughs> System shock PC long play. Bro, they said the last Guardian would never come out, and then it came out, and then yeah, everybody shut the fuck up. Yeah, blown the frick out. All right, they had dog physics in that game. They had to spend ten years on to perfect. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember. I remember. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, Curse 2 took 10 years to make, alright? So, yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> and Curse 3 is, is probably going to take another 10 years. Uh huh. He's actually lying about all the progress he's made. Oh, wow. that's sad. Can't believe you would lie about that. <laughs> do you, do 
They had to mocap an actual dog to get these dog physics down and these dog animations, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I heard all about it. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if it did exist, but I wonder if any game has mocapped a dog for its animation information. Yeah. Gotta be. It's gotta happen. Okay, has anyone mocapped their cock for like cock animation physics? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Probably oh, happened at least once. God, where the f <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. I'm trying to find where I am in this long play. It's a non-linear game, so it's hard to or to uh, pinpoint. Is this new? Is this where I want to go? Oh, there's an elevator. Okay, how do you get there? Where's that? Where's that? Oh, you have to crawl under something. Where's that? familiar stun gun frag grenade oh okay okay let me give it a shot here Okay. Need to go back uh, somewhere. Um. Let's just go over here. Oh! 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 Yeah! Oh yeah! Okay, this is this area. Smack a doodle do. Yabba dabba do. I like talking to you. Okay, you have to watch one, you have to choose a Hanna-Barbera cartoon, and you have to watch 20 hours of it straight. Mm -hmm. People will bring you snacks, and you can use the bathroom sometimes. Okay. Which one do you pick? <laughs> um, gotta be Scooby-Doo. Damn, 20 hours, holy shit. Oh, Scooby-Doo, it's not a very good cartoon, but <laughs> probably the best one they got. <laughs> Well, you know, they got uh, Yogi Bear. It's pretty good. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> got its charms. Got Hong, Hong Kong Fooey. They got uh, the Jetsons. Uh -huh. I want to be here, man. <laughs> okay, what Nickelodeon cartoon would you watch 20 hours of? <laughs> um... Nickelodeon. 20 hours. Rocco's Modern Life. Rocket Power. <laughs> I, I've never seen that show. I've heard of it, but I've never seen it. Okay, and then what Cartoon Network show would you watch 20 hours of? Um, maybe Aqua Teen Hunger Force. 
That's Adult Swim. <laughs> Specifically Cartoon Network? Um, yeah. Let's see. Um, what is that? That's a broken clock. Um, Cartoon Network. Cartoon Planet. How about that? Uh, I don't, I don't know, bro. That this, that this, uh, that that this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, yeah, I guess it says Cartoon Network, but uh... <laughs> it was yeah, like there it was before Space Ghost. Space Ghost was a uh, you know Adult Swim, but it was the predecessor to Space Ghost Coast to Coast. It was on Cartoon Network. <laughs> Fuck, am I, dude? How do I get over there? I mean, your map is pretty, pretty explanatory, you know. Yeah, it's pretty simple to follow, you know. Just the regular map. Last door. Been in here already. Contaminated. Uh... <laughs> okay, what Nick Jr. show would you watch? Twenty hours. Nick Jr. <laughs> but what are my options? I've, I've, I've. Lost my frame of reference for Nick Jr. <laughs> um, okay, there's Blue's Clues. There's Oswald, the octopus. There's uh, 20 hours of face bumpers. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably my real choice thing. Uh, Dora, I think, yeah, was Nickelodeon. I'm just trying to remember what was on Nickelodeon or Nick Jr. And I didn't watch Dora. I was I was too old for that when it came out. Same, yeah. Like Oswald. Oh, I think Maisie the Rat was uh, something that aired on Nick Jr. I think that was some foreign show. Oh, but it was on Nick Jr. And that's it. There were only three shows on Nick Jr. back in my day. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I did. I used to watch Blues Clues a little bit, even though I was probably too old for that. <laughs> it was sort of fun. See, I don't, I, don't need to, I don't need to unlock that door. Oh, Franklin. Franklin the Turtle, that is. Oh, and Little Bear. So. Oh, Little Bear. Yeah, Little Bear is pretty pog. I'll maybe watch Little Bear. Rugrats. Rugrats was not on Nick Jr. Oh, Bob the Builder. I forgot that. Oh, okay. Well, this is, Okay, this is where I'm supposed to be, I think. We found the answer to our problems here. What you got for me? Save it. Okay, I took a lot of damage there. This is where we're supposed to go. Elevator. Take us to the next level. What is that? Stun gun? Already got stun guns. Out the ass. In here. Nothing? Empty room? Cool. Oh, little Bill. Forgot about that. What is what is the crouch button? Hold on. <laughs> I'm using the the clickable man icon to crouch, but I think I should learn what the real one is. F. It's F for some reason. Don't say F. I have to. <laughs> Wait, what? You can't crouch there? Down. Oh, oh, I have to go prone. What's what's the uh, the B? There we go. 
There's a difference between the two. Lead pipe. I already have a lead pipe. I don't need that. Concussion bomb. Sounds cool. Okay. I think we made it. Oh, there's an email. Is it from Shodan or oh, it's Rebecca? Sounds like Shodan doesn't want Rebecca to talk. <laughs> Shodan alive. <laughs> Shodan had to say. To all cyborg units, just as we have sanitized my dildo. Do my dildo. Station, so shall we cleanse the earth. The Tachyon Mining Beam is being made ready to destroy human cities. I, I will cities. take command of the rich earth ecosystem and continue my experiment. Once the beam is properly calibrated, we will begin. Oh, it's the- we opened the bulkhead, finally. Shit. Alright. Oh! Elevator music. How do I use it? Go to... two. Oh god! Holy shit, dude. What a welcome. Uh, let's use some... Actually, you know what? Let's go back up. Let's find the... Um... No, I don't think that's a good idea. There's like a health bed you can like stay in. But I bet it's recharged now. We open the shortcut, I think. Oh wait. Is it, it was back here, hold on. Down here. Here we go. And that was like through here. Oh god. Newton City. <laughs> and they just expect you to kill all these with just a dart gun, and that's it. <laughs> I have other guns, I guess. Okay. Mission accomplished. Let's go to the new level and we'll save it and we'll stop the stream there. Load my dart gun here. Some new rounds. Back in the elevator. here. That is the first stream of System Shock. Pretty cool game.